Hey, welcome back. It's a new day. Uh, let's recap a little bit about what we learned yesterday. We've got uh, solar panels. Each one of these solar panels here puts out about 22 volts, um, give or take. And they have a plus and a negative on each one. Almost all solar panels work the same way. They have two wires or cables. One is a plus, one is a negative. If you daisy chain them or connect them in series, you will multiply the voltages uh, so if each one of these is 22 volts and you hook them all in series you get 88 volts and you end up with one negative and one positive wire coming out of this string of panels so this 88 volt string of panels pushes about six amps and if you wired them up in parallel you would get a 22 volt string of panels and they would push about 24 amps. Can you run things directly off your panels without a battery bank? Yes, yes, there are some devices made to work on solar. Because the power is fluctuating, it's not really ideal to run household items on a fluctuating DC voltage. But they make some devices, such as this uh, solar-powered pool pump and this controller with no battery it uh, just comes on whenever the sun comes up and even on a day like today when it's kind of cloudy it still works but most of us would like to run a household appliance off our solar and that's usually why we do solar in the first place and for that we're going to need for starters a solar controller this receives the power from the solar panel see PV you just plug those two wires from the solar panel string into here. Be sure not to go over the 100 volts rating of your controller or whatever the rating is for your specific controller. Um, so that 88 volts would come into here and this would regulate all that power and push it back out to charge a battery bank. And battery banks could come in different sizes, shapes, and uh, voltages. His, this here is four 12 volt batteries all connected in parallel so that this is one giant 12 volt battery pack and so the solar panels send the power into the controller and the controller reworks that 88 volts and puts out 24 volts into this pack and charges the pack with 24 volts i think i said that wrong so the 88 volts go into the controller. The controller in this case puts out 12 volts, not 24. Puts out 12 volts and charges this 12 volt bank of batteries. If you had a 24 volt bank of batteries, it, you could just change the settings on your controller and it would charge those as well. So you could run 12 volt devices off of this or you're going to need another piece of equipment such as an inverter that takes the 12 volts from a car battery or in this case from this bank of four small 12 volt batteries and turns that 12 volts into 120 volts and so that 120 volts comes out of the inverter and then you can run your appliances from the 120 volts and there you go so it goes from solar panels to charge controller, to battery bank, to inverter, to appliance or device. Unless you're running solar equipment, and in that case the solar panels just plug right into the equipment and the equipment runs directly without the batteries or other components. Well, that's today's five minute solar video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to making another video tomorrow and we'll cover more in depth on how to get power to your appliances and how much solar and battery you actually need.